Hi guys, in this video we will talk about two tools start uh, right now in the version of Guerrilla 2.1 and that's the render debug pass and the light pass expression. Even if it seems not really to get the uh, same usage, they've got a command tool that can be super useful to work with. So what is render debug pass? Render debug pass is a tool that you get to understand the way of the uh, lighting of a point. So let's dive into this uh, scene of the classroom and let's say that we're gonna integrate a point like say, oh, what this one, uh, what do I get this firefly or something like that. So I'm gonna select with uh, shift right click only one pixel and I'm gonna start the render debug pass. Render debug pass is gonna render the image and render the point and um, it's gonna create object in my scene that that asked into the group that's called light pass and giving me the coordinate of the pixel because if I'm integrating this pixel you can see that's the coordinate of it. And for this coordinate, you're gonna give me all the life path I've got. And as you can see, the most powerful one is this one. And uh, it got a luminin luminance of 12. So I guess it's my, um, it's my firefly. And uh, so it's gonna highlight this one. And as you can see, you got all the one right there. I can select them. What is the most interesting part? It's uh, the expression I've got here. It's uh, composed with uh, a couple of symbols that we're gonna understand. So, um, simplest one, the first one, it's C for camera, and uh, it's giving me the endpoint. And uh, the other one, it's uh, can be R. In this case, it's a reflection, and D is for diffuse. So this when my camera is casting my ray and it is point, it's gonna turn into a reflection diffuse. And after that, it's gonna bounce for another one into another reflection diffuse. And after that, it's gonna uh, directly connect to the light. And as you can see, we can understand that there is a connection between that. So first reflection diffuse, reflection diffuse, connection to the light. Okay, so now we got something like an expression that giving us information about the way the light is created. And um, if you got more information to it, like like categories, it's gonna be um, just right there and see that the connection with the light is of this kind of category. If we wanna go, uh, it's gonna help us a lot to give us information, to understand why this last is fire flying, if I deactivate it, or uh, if some, there is something like, it's always the same light, or uh, if, and sometimes if the light is too close from um, sorry, from surface, that's most of the case of uh, when it's create firefly. What this can be super interesting, it's uh, we can use this expression to create something uh, more powerful that called light pass expression. Light pass expression, it's um, a simple uh, expression or it can be really complex to create uh, our own AOVs. So let's have fun and let's duplicate this beauty and let's call beauty LPE. And for doing something real simple, I'm gonna copy and pass this expression that create my Firefly and I'm gonna directly inject it into the accepted expression. So right now, the image of this AOV I just create, um, it's gonna draw by expression. And only this complex pass that say me that the indirect indirect um, of diffuse is gonna create, it's gonna give me its on images. And as you can see, I'm able to get this weird AOVs because that's something that not really exists basically. Will be something like, if you wanna create a diffuse, we'll say that this is a diffuse. Or if we wanna go for something like an indirect diffuse, go bounce like uh, infinitely with a reflection diffuse. So in this case, I've got something and uh, I can isolate my, um, my points and my firefly. I can go for something totally different. I can say, this is, I'm gonna accept all paths, but I'm gonna remove this one. And as you can see, I've got something 
really different that's gonna um, remove me can some last pass that can be really problematic so uh, last pass expression can be something that uh, you can accept only a pass exp uh, last pass expression you can ignore a last pass expression um, if I want to go for something more uh, let's go into the uh, explanation of that so um, we got cameras that you already find, but we got light also, and we got extra that can be information of technical purposes. If you get something like an albedo instead of light, and um, we can use reflection, transmission, or volume for the middle point, and uh, of course uh, subscattering. Uh, but uh, what what defines the scatter of this middle point? It's it can be singular, which is a sharp, perfect mirror, or um, diffuse, because it's a raw scatter, so, or it can be a glossy uh, reflection. So you got the uh, different kind of lob that can be something only a, a mirror or something like, uh, like a lob uh, that's not totally uh, an hemisphere, like uh, the diffuse, which is glossy, and the diffuse, which is uh, typically a full hemisphere of, uh, of uh, scattering. We can go for um, doing something really weird and say, okay, uh, let's go for on really complex paths. Um, let's say that we're gonna, okay, let's say that we're gonna go for what we did before saying, okay, that's gonna be this, but I wanna get also different uh, choice. I can get something like um, all the paths that go uh, from a light through a reflection diffuse to a reflection diffuse or a reflection glossy, uh, glossy, sorry. So right now I've got something more, more complex and uh, I can do something um, basic operation with an R in this case. And um, I can use, uh, well, um, it's really well documented, in fact, and uh, if you go into directly into the uh, documentation, you got a lot of super about that, saying that if you want to get something like beauty, it's going to be C point star sharp, and um, because um, it's going to give you uh, like its camera and any pass with a point. Um, star is going to say that it's going to, it can be um, uh, uh, a couple of time, and um, so you, you can have a look that um, in this documentation you can uh, you can have basic AOV that call like this one is a beauty this one it's a diffuse so you can have an expression of R like in this one and um, you can get something like more complex like incandescence or something like the indirect uh, SSS subscatterings and uh, technical primaries uh, just right there. Um, so th there is uh, also the uh, slide I showed you just before. And if we wanna go for something more, um, uh, visualize something that uh, you get the uh, AOVs, just a spark die there. And um, we can also use tag. So what is a tag? We can flag an object and say that this object, it's gonna go, go the LP tag table, and I'm gonna flag my middle point and say that's only the path of light that go through this object with this middle point is gonna work. So only this uh, pass that goes through this middle point is gonna work. So I can be able also to um, isolate some object with this kind of uh, expression. Um, I can use also that for getting object through uh, a middle point. Like I can get information through a middle point. Like 
um, in this case, uh, we can get the albedo through something. So let's say we want to dive in into, we want to get the uh, reflection uh, albedo through the uh, singularity that we got. So only object uh, per mirror uh, is going to reflect in the uh, albedo just around. And um, we can use that also to get information like uh, get the Z pass. True reflection. In some situation, um, so I can get the um, so I can get the albedo uh, through the uh, singularity or reflection, but I can do something more interesting. Um, if you wanna uh, use, uh, like in my case, um, a transmitting object, it can be super useful to get also the diffuse, but the diffuse through the refraction, uh, through the transmission. So what I get, it's I'm going to duplicate my uh, beauty AOV and say beauty, um, I'm going to create that uh, diffuse transmit. Okay. Um, so if I really do something very simple, that's going to be my uh, simple diffuse. Let's have a look and say, okay, that's my diffuse. Perfect. Um, if I want to get something like uh, the reflection um, of uh, my diffuse, I can get something like, okay, it's going to be camera through to transmission to my diffuse. Okay, it worked pretty well. But right now I want to get one or the other one. So I'm going to group the path I've got and say that this is my group. And I say, I want to get camera group or diffuse. And in this case, we create a transmission um, and diffuse AOV that transmit also the diffuse or um, the uh, diffuse through the transmission. Um, I can go for the more and more complex uh, path system. Uh, I invite you to have a look uh, into the uh, documentation for getting something like that. That's saying that uh, you got multiple uh, label and that transmission and that refraction that go through some other elements. Thank you so much for watching.